Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to Jesus. Yesterday we talked about religion and we said that if things are not how it used to be, that you know it, that doesn't mean it is wrong. If you don't believe in somebody's dream, don't kill it, don't quell it, don't talk bad about it. Just mind your business. And if you believe in somebody's dream, go all the way to support. That might be your credit card, your ATM for tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Thank God for His faithfulness. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much in Jesus' name. Thank you for this day, the Tuesday. Thank you for all that you've been doing for us. That is our prayer is that please bless this day for us. Make it a day worth the while. And please lead us to where our blessings are. And let us be a blessing to someone today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, we're going to do two days of a series of two days and the topic will be authority today tomorrow we talk about the authority and authority text will be from Luke chapter 7 verse 6 through to 8 Luke 7 6 through to 8 now I'll just read a part of it the Bible says then Jesus Luke 7 from verse 6 to 8 then Jesus went with them and when he was now not far from the house the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither do I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under the soldiers, and the other meets the soldiers. And I say unto the one, Go, and he goes, he will go it. And to another, Come, and he comment. And to my servant, Do this, and he do it. Friends, I'm sure you know the story, and Jesus commended this guy greatly that has never seen so much faith. You know, Many times we don't appreciate something until we localize it, we customize, we bring it home. Now this man, what a great man, he, he said Christianity, he said the power of God, he said the authority of God, that's so reasonable, so real. He said, and he said the truth about it is that if you believe in something, you should practice it. This man believed in pattern of authority and they could liken it to the authority that Jesus has over man, over spirit, and over everything. And that's why Jesus saw it as faith. Because he had to understand that whatever he says, because he's the creator, he's the Messiah, he's the Lord over all, there must be given to him. That's what the Bible says. God gave Jesus a name above all and everybody was submit to his authority. But you see, we Christians sometimes we don't believe in what the Bible says to us. We don't even believe in the power and the authority of God over things. That's why Jesus had to say to us in Luke 10, 10, 10, 10, 19, He said, I have given you authority over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by the enemy shall hurt you. But unfortunately, we don't believe that. The word of God is forever said to sin. Second Corinthians chapter 10, 4 and 5, the Bible says that the our uh, weapon they are not cannon, they are mighty true, but to the pulling down struggle and to bring any imagination into now to exalt the second in order to our to that authority. Friends, you need to address your life situation and circumstances with the understanding of the authority that Jesus has given you. That man said, if I say to a servant, go, he go. I pray that you begin to operate in that spirit. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.